Very good. So, we've had an emu problem for a while, if you've been following our channel. These girls, here's Cashew, they're ready to breed. But our problem is our boy. Bamboo is not. Today, we're gonna fix that. In 2019, Bamboo hatched out and our emu journey began. We had so much fun raising him in the house for two months, but that might have led to our current problem. Two months later, we hatched out Cashew and Peekaboo, and they became instant friends with Bamboo. Fast forward a few years, and the girls have shown that they're ready to breed and lay eggs. But Bamboo, well, he still thinks of Becky and me as his partners. So to fix that, we're gonna take a little road trip to meet some more male emus. Oh, sorry. Today we've got a long road trip ahead of us and we were not planning on doing this but we were contacted by a viewer and they have some extra boys and girls and had offered some of them to us and well we talked about it we wanted to we want to build a bigger space for all these emus and we're going to work on it over the next year but it felt like about the right time for us to make a change to see if we could start to get eggs and and babies from these emus. Right now we've got cashew over here with bamboo. He's not breeding, he's not ready. He still sees us as his companions since we, we hand raised them. And then on this side we have Pikachu. And outside of bamboo coming over every once in a while just to see if maybe they would gel. They, they've never bred, so Pikachu doesn't have a partner either. She had some leg issues early on, but they've worked out. We're not worried about like a knock need situation, bad genetics, anything like that. So we've got a little nine, 10 hour drive today. I'm gonna take couple of boys with me so I've got to say bye to the family oh. here and head out on our road trip. I'm gonna miss you baby. I'll see you tomorrow night okay? All right you're the man of the house all right? Uh, you take care of your mom and sister. I will. Okay I love you. You ready to go? Yep. You excited? Yep. Okay I'll miss you. Miss you too. Be very careful. So do you think we're crazy for getting more emus? Of course. <laughs> you excited a little bit? A little bit. I'm excited to get eggs and possibly babies but i just know it's scary bringing something in especially the emus when we have raised them up and we know how their temperament is and we don't know what these are so i'm a little nervous all right i've got to go pick up the the trailer last time we moved the emus here we had my father-in-law's trailer and i've never driven it before so hopefully this goes all right but we're gonna go pick it up and then take it out to colorado here we go Hi, baby. So we drove through the evening and into the night, arriving at our hotel around 2 a.m. The next morning, we went to the edge of the Rocky Mountains to pick up the emus. Hi. You tired? Well, last night we drove through the night and we just got here this morning and we are excited to take home some emus. So I'm here with Helena and I thought that was pretty cool. So I was looking back through our email conversations uh -huh. and so I think you contacted us before you even got any emus. We did. And then now here we're buying emus from you. So I know, it came full circle. It did. You actually inspired us to get emus and they've been so wonderful for two years, but uh, it's time for them to go to greener pastures. Well, so what happened? What was the story? When you went from no emus to emus, what, what did you um, Well, we went oh. from no emus to emus just based on the, the cool factor. These guys are so neat. So we got these guys as chicks and they grew into six foot tall giant birds and here they are. Yeah, our fencing, as you can see, is not like the most emu sturdy fencing. So... They jump over it or do they stay in? They stay in. 99% of the time okay. and that 1% is really hard to deal with <laughs> when you have a new baby. <laughs> yeah. So uh, time for them to go to taller fences. So are you already staying here? No. Nope. Okay. Everybody's going today. All so you're, you. you're done with the emu experiment? Yep. Okay. We're done for now. Okay. This is not our, our last foray with emus but okay. I think farm number two. And so we're loading up six emus today. We're not taking all of those but we're going to take two of them but like all six are going to go back with us and then four are going to get picked up from our farm and moved on to another place. So today we're going to figure out how to load them. We're going to run them up this hill towards our trailer and that'll be interesting to see how this goes.
One down. <laughs> and I'm out of energy. How'd you feel? How'd you feel that one went? <laughs> As expected. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we're taking all these emus. We got six of them here, and two of them are going to all six of them are going to our place, but two are going to stay there. The first one went a little tougher than we expected, but we're going to try a, a sheet or a, a pillowcase over the head. See if that makes it any better, because we got awfully close to getting kicked there a few times, and especially oh, Helena. So don't want that to happen again. Easily the hardest emu to move was Oscar. He was pretty wild. I'm glad that we got him in with only a few difficult moments. He is so much lighter is he? than the white one. Oh boy. He is a lot stronger. I can't believe he didn't get that off. See the one you're gonna miss the most? Yeah. yeah. Him and Bert. 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 Alright, so first part's done. We got the four boys loaded. Now it's was very tough, but I think the easier part might be coming up because these girls are quite a bit lighter. So they are just under a year old? They're just under a year. Okay. Yep. Uh, what are their names? This is Louise and Thelma. Okay. A little on the wilder side. Did you hatch them out or get them no. as chicks? No, we just got them as chicks. Okay. <laughs> All right. One. Now just be careful when I come past, okay? Have you picked them up before? A couple times. That's fine. No, that one's going to the other place. Got it. Almost got it. Really enjoy it because this is your last time. So I enjoy it. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to reposition? I want to reposition. Okay, there we go. Now everyone's going to ask why I wasn't a gentleman and not someone <laughs> carried. Yes, yeah, what about my husband too? Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> May not be done forever, but to be done for now. Oh, it's sad to see them go, but I think it's really important to be fully set up for emus, because otherwise you're going to be doing a lot of that tackle and carry. <laughs> it's good advice. We have a lot of people that want to get started, and I guess I didn't think much about it, so that's yeah. good advice. You know, we didn't either, and that's often how we do it. We just kind of go with the flow. and. It was doable, but once a baby's in the mix, it makes it a little harder. Yeah. You can't tackle an emu with an infant strapped to you, so. <laughs> I'm gonna miss them very much. They're very sweet birds. I think everybody is always scared of them, but they're just, 
they're very sweet. They're very they're like big puppy dogs. Terrifying puppy dogs, but big puppy dogs. These guys are gonna be missed, but it's time for now. And then we'll be back next year for chicks and eggs from you guys. <laughs> All right, we got started on our nine hour drive home and we had to make a few stops to eat and take care of the emus. You guys, drink some water. It's funny, we just stopped at a place for lunch. Gave the emus some food and water and had a few people driving by doing double takes as to what we're carrying in our trailer. Emus are funny. We just got all the kids to bed. Well, almost all of them. We're gonna have a cup of coffee and relax. So today's video is sponsored by Cometeer and they make coffee, not just any kind of coffee. They make frozen coffee. We've got it here in our freezer. So let's take it out of here. I'll show you how we make it. Cometeer's brewed coffee, flash frozen at peak flavor, delivered straight to your doorstep each month. The new way to enjoy delicious coffee in under a minute. Okay, I'm gonna pour six to eight ounces of hot water into my cup. I'm gonna pick the decaf blend, open this up, drop my coffee in there. It smells amazing, but we love our cream. We make this fresh from our cow. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna do some cold coffee, pour a little water in there, get some ice out, and then with my capsule, this is the Southern Weather flavor. I've already thawed this out for a day in the fridge. So it's no longer frozen, I just pour it right in there. Doctor it up with a little creamer, and the coffee's ready to go. Really tasty and really fast to make. So for a limited time, you can get $40 off your first order. Just use my code WHITEHOUSE at cometeer.com for this amazing offer. Cheers. Okay, we're gonna get this fence panel until the emus to separate them. Cause we're gonna have some new emus coming. And why do we have to separate them out? Because they're not gonna use two hours. And would they fight then, or? <laughs> Will they fight, Eli? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well that's a good plan. Hey, Peekaboo, not used to seeing you over here. So yesterday, while I was driving home with the emus, Becky and Eli got this whole area all set up. Cashew and bamboo are all set up over here on this third of the yard. Peekaboo's here in the middle, and so that way we can move Peekaboo back to the other side. They did a great job on getting that ready. <laughs> what do you want from me? Go on over there. Go on over there. You don't want to go over there, do you? Go over there. Go over there. Okay, she's over here in the middle. And then now all we've got to do are get the two boys off the trailer and into here. And then the other four, they're getting picked up early tomorrow morning. So this whole transfer thing will be all done early tomorrow morning. Everybody got home well last night. Got our four boys right here. Worked really well when we put the yep. pillowcase over the emu's head so they would just walk really slowly. We're gonna try that. A Little bit of a drop over here off the trailer and then we'll Walk them right over here and on into their area. So we got one off and got them in the house so we can keep this door open and then we'll we'll get emu number two out.
They look like they're pretty friendly. So their names are Bert and Elmo, which we could either rename them so it's Bert and Ernie, so we can remember those, or we can change their names to whatever we want. So let us know what you think we should do. Yay, it's my chance to pet ya. So you might notice these guys have, they're white emus, which is the rarest of the three kinds. There's the standard, which is bamboo. There's the blonde, which is peekaboo and cashew. And then you can get to white if you breed two blondes together, you can get white emus. And that's what we have here with Bert and Ernie or whatever we call them. But they've got little specks of black on them. So I'm curious with anyone that has experience with white emus, is this pretty much what you're gonna get? Or is it something where they've got a little bit of uh, black on them and a pure white emu would be all white with no black specks on them. I'm not sure. So the problem we were having is that bamboo wouldn't breed with cashew or peekaboo. He's just too friendly with us and so we needed more males. We needed a partner for cashew. We needed a partner for peekaboo. And so that's why we picked up two more boys. And if you add more girls, which most animals, you only need one male and then multiple females, or maybe they just partner up, like our man or ducks just partner up. But with emus, you actually want one female, typically for like a trio, and then have one or two male partners. And then they will, they'll breed, the female will go lay the eggs, and then the male will sit on those eggs. And then if you happen to have another male, the female will go breed with that one and then go lay more eggs. That one male will continue to sit on all of those eggs. And so you could probably get 10, 12, 15 eggs laid at a time, and the one male can sit on all of those eggs and hatch them out. So we're hoping that each of our females have at least one mate and two with, with cashew, that this will start to work out better. And since these two were pretty friendly, I believe, with with Helena, that they're able to, to breed all right, and that we'll start getting some, some eggs and eventually some hemu babies. So we're thinking about keeping these guys separated for about a week before we try to put them back together with the females. We think that was a good plan. So it'll be interesting to see when we merge them next week, see if they're nervous or if they start to fight or if they just hang out. I, I'm curious because I think from what I heard of them with their females that the place they came from that they'd all get pretty excited. They'd start running around and then they'd start busting out of the fence. So I'm excited to see how these guys do together and hopefully they don't start charging the, the outer fencing. You found some white feathers? Yep. You excited to eat, eat an emu egg? No. What? You'll, you'll decorate some e eggs? Yeah, but I want to eat them. Why not? I might try them next year. Okay guys, so we are about to hit a pretty cool milestone in our YouTube channel. Let's count it down. 10, Ten. Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. 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 Seven, Seven, six, six five, 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 four, three, two, two, one. 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 Million! Look at those faces on what is going on here. So one million subscribers, that is pretty cool. It's been five and a half years since we got our first subscriber. I think he actually unsubscribed. This is a pretty cool journey. I cannot believe we've gotten here. I cannot imagine a million people sitting at home and watching our videos, it just blows my mind. So thank you so much, guys. What do you guys think about that? Pretty so exciting. Good. Think we'd ever get there? No. No. <laughs> it's pretty exciting, but woohoo! What do you think? Here you go. That one works. Blow real hard. Blow hard. <laughs> there you go. Real hard again. We have three emus over here. 
They're fighting. Yikes. Not good. That's peekaboo. And that's cashew. Oh gosh. You guys are rough. Uh-oh. 